Hi, I'm Jerry Brown from Music Makers, and uh, we're going to be demonstrating how to put decals on a musical instrument. We have a harp here, and we have a thumb piano, and a psaltery, and we're going to decorate the soundboards with decals. And I'm going to be teaching Sharon and Debbie and Matt how to do this, and you can watch. Hey, Matt. Hey, Jerry. Okay, which this one are you going to do? Okay. This is uh, decal number one, the Canterbury Shield, and we're going to put it on the Smartwood Harp. So I'm looking at this here, Jerry, and it says that um, this is printed on clear film so I can cut around it roughly. Uh, so I can leave some space around the edge, is that right? Yeah, on this one you can. Okay. So you can leave more space than that even. I can. It's just going to be a clear film and it's very thin so it's not noticeable once it's left on the wood. Okay, so... Um, I would suggest you put a little tape, a little masking tape, uh, top and bottom. Okay. So, so you're, you're marking the center of the string band there on that harp and that's going to be centered on the point of your decal. Okay, now you can take the decal okay. and soak it in water. I'm just going to drop it in this. Yep. Just drop it right in. Drop it in, push it down into the water. It curls up at first, but then it flattens out after it gets fully saturated. Very exciting. Yeah. Now you're going to want to wait about 30 seconds, maybe 45 seconds. Three, two, one, extraction. Let's see if it slides, and if it doesn't, oh. then soak it a little more. It's, can it's I slide peel it off? Well, you can. Or do I want to slide it off? Um, you can. You can take it right off the backing now if you want. Okay. All right. Now so what? Bring it over to the harp. Okay. And <clears throat> center the points on those uh, lines where you drew. Am I going to have some wiggle room here when I get this down? Yes, you can still slide, it around, slide it around a little bit. bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I would take a, a piece of uh, a paper towel. Okay. And just uh, tamp the excess water off. Now I'm putting this on a harp that already has a finish on it. So is that the normal way to do this? That's right. You need at least one coat of finish and then it should be sanded smooth. Otherwise you, you won't be able to slide the decal around very well after it's installed. Well, I think that looks like a great success, Jerry. It's pretty easy, isn't it? Yeah. Now we just let it dry? We let it dry, but it's important to uh, pull out little um, bubbles. Oh. So you use your paper towel to slide those bubbles toward the edge so they come out. I see. I think that's looking pretty good. Yeah. <clears throat> You'll want to check it again after a few minutes because sometimes uh, something else will show in the reflection of the light that you didn't see. It takes a good half hour for this to dry or maybe even an hour if we want it to be permanent we'll apply a little bit of finish over the decal and over the surrounding wood uh, <clears throat> and that will stabilize it and make it permanent okay. hi Deb hi <laughs> okay which decal are you going to apply I'm going to do the Viking ring <clears throat> okay so this decal you're going to cut carefully all the way around the outside and the inside so take your time <clears throat> with your scissors and cut out that whole ring inside and out. The reason that we are cutting so close and so carefully on this one is because this decal is printed on white film. And so any, anything that's white on the decal will show on the, on the uh, finished instrument. Okay, right. go ahead and dip it. dip it. Is it coming off? Oh yeah. Okay, well I will go ahead and take it off. Yeah, pull it right off. It helps to look at a reflection of light on the decal. So if you uh, have a light source uh, down uh, or over at one side, you can 
put your eyes on the other side and see the reflection of it and, yeah. and that'll show you where there are bubbles. Actually get it right here. Try a rosette in there and see what we think. Oh, that one looks nice. Yeah, that's the flower. It follows the... Round. It has curves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's nice. There's the oh, Celtic nice knot. Too. That's that's quite nice too. Oh, and then the tree. Oh, that works too. Mm-hmm. Nice and lacy looking. Yeah. Try knot. Oh, yeah. That would be nice too. Yeah. Oh, my favorite. The dragonfly. Wow. I like that. That is cool. Mm -hmm. And the butterfly. Oh, well, that's very there nice. Yeah. Well, that's fun. Mm -hmm. Hey, Sharon. Hello. It's my turn. Okay. To are you on. gonna Are you gonna put the Kells ring on something? I sure am. I'm gonna put it on the deluxe thumb piano. All right. And this is the decal that we're gonna use for this one. Yeah. That's very intricate. It's already been cut out. Is it coming off? Yep, it sure is. I recommend you take it off and leave the backing right in the water there. Okay. Alright, I'm just rubbing my finger over this and it's truly amazing how thin that is, but it's easy to work with. And Yeah, um, it's neat because you don't see the edge. It looks like it could be just painted right on there, doesn't it? It really does. Let's see what that looks like with uh, rosette. Oh, sure. Let's try the try knot. That looks nice. That's very nice. I like that one. Yeah. Butterfly. Flower. Wow. The leaf. Well, that jazzes up the leaf, doesn't it? Sure it sure does. And there's Decal. more Celtic knotwork. That's mm -hmm. very nice. Mm -hmm. That really. Decal. Oh, wow. Oh, Dragonfly. That's nice, too. Yeah. Well, that's fun. Sure Thanks, is. Sharon. Oh, you're welcome. Nice work. Thank you. Okay, now we're ready to apply finish to a decal to preserve it so it doesn't get chipped off. What we use is our uh, gel top coat wipe on polyurethane finish, the same thing we finished the instrument with. Uh, we'll use as a top coat. And it's so simple. We really love this finish because. Uh, it doesn't stink, it doesn't run or drip, it dries real quickly. You don't even need to dirty a brush. You can just use a clean rag and dip it in and wipe it on. I'm not globbing it on in big amounts. I'm just trying to wipe a thin film over the whole thing. And obviously I can't get under the prongs here very well. You can kind of feather the finish out on the edges. You don't have to cover the whole top if you don't want to. And then I just go over it lightly to make sure it's uh, smooth. And it will look just like the original finish when it's done. Uh, and then the uh, decal will be uh, nicely sealed, protected. So that's all there is to it. I'll leave this dry for a half hour or so, uh, maybe an hour, and it should be done.